Today we've got two really good game improvement irons, a lot of ball speed, easy launch, the Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metal and the Titleist T300. Jackie's going to compare them and hit some shots on TrackMan, and we'll see what the data tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka in the Tour Van, testing two game improvement irons head-to-head. -head. Um, have been killers in fitting here in 2021. Moving into 2022, I would expect the same thing. Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metal and the Titleist T300. Jackie, walk me through kind of a, a quick comparison of each of them. What have you noticed in fittings? Yeah, I think when it comes to the T300 and the JPX 921 Hot Metal, uh, they they feel great, right? Mm -hmm. So when comparing them to like other, you know, game improvement irons, I think these two definitely have a little bit better feel to them. Now that doesn't mean that you know they're gonna fit everybody, but they yeah. definitely feel a little bit more like a forged club. Mm -hmm. So and, and that's you know both Titleist and Mizuno, that's their you know aiming point there. Yeah. Like they want sure. their clubs to feel good. They want, you know, to have a nice forge feel, mm -hmm. but still have some good forgiveness. So both of these are, if, if I had to guess, uh, are going to feel really solid, yeah. but also going to be able to get a tighter dispersion mm -hmm. circle with those miss hits. So, uh, you know, I know that from hitting the Mizuno 921, I, I, it's awesome. Yeah. It, it's got a really awesome feel. It looks cool. Uh, it's got a sleek look to it as well compared to some other game improvement clubs. And then the T300 uh, is a little bit thicker in the top line, but still looks, you yeah. know, looks good as well. Maybe a little bit louder um, than the mm -hmm. 921, but it, it's been a hot commodity as well. So both of these are really popular uh, and have been in, in 2021. So it'll be fun to test them out and compare them. Sure. Now let's all go, also go through these stock shafts. We got yep. graphite stock shafts in each of them, not regular flex. Uh, we've got two different ones. Let's uh, discuss those quick and then we'll hit some shots. Yeah, so we got the Recoil ESX uh, 460 regular, and then we have the Tensai AV Series Red uh, regular as well. Okay, so I would imagine pretty similar profiles to both of them, roughly. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say compared to our other tests with the Ping and the TaylorMade, definitely more similar shafts. Mm -hmm. uh, and a little bit better in terms of weight. Okay. So they're gonna, Okay. I, I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot of difference between the feel of the shafts in, in okay. both of these, but I think the heads are gonna feel definitely a little bit different in, in this test. Okay, all right, well, ready to hit some shots now. We got the track man lined up. Yeah, let's go. Is that a solid contact? Asking because it sounded very soft in sound. It was okay, my face path, yeah, I felt that. It was just way open. All right, so Jackie, that's the JPX 921 Hot Metal from Mizuno. I noticed a really soft sound, um, for, especially for a game improvement iron, where those are typically a little bit louder. Um, it seemed like it was very soft in, in the noise anyway. Well, I think this is why Mizuno is just really popular. It's more of a premier game improvement iron, mm -hmm. just because of how they make their clubs. It definitely feels like solid yeah i and, mean it's not but, a forge club but it kind of feels like yeah one, exactly yeah. so and then on the miss hits like you know where you hit it mm -hmm. and i think sometimes with a lot of game improvement irons like you can't feel that you know feedback so that's why you know a lot of people that are fairly good golfers that want to get that feedback on a club face but yeah. need forgiveness i mean this is where mizuto really comes into play sure with how they've designed this hot metal uh so yeah so, overall not too bad, so. Yeah, I mean, you're, it's a lot of ball speed too. You're over 100 miles an hour ball speed. Uh, some good spin too, actually. Um, yeah. 52, 54 on average, uh, 150 basically total yards on average. So pretty good stuff from Mizuno there. Um, I am curious now with Titleist because they're, both irons are 29 degrees in loft with the yeah. seven iron. So should be pretty good apples to apples comparison that way. So um, T300 here up next. Oh, that is much louder. <laughs> yeah. It like made like a whistling noise too. It's like whoosh. T300, I noticed, first of all, much louder. Yeah. And second, it seemed like ball speed was higher and the ball was flying higher too, it seemed like. Yeah, I mean, it felt good. Um, you know, 
right now, I have this set up just in the T200, so obviously okay. very familiar. Yeah. Um, I had a, you know, one that I definitely miss hit. Yeah. Right, so that was short, but other than that, yeah, I had a little bit of tendency to, to pull it. Would probably flatten this out a little bit if okay. I was fitting myself, right? Gotcha. So I think that would definitely help. I tend to be probably like a degree flat okay. overall. The one thing I'm gonna do actually, but, just for the sake of it, is I'm gonna take this out quick and you can see yeah. you know, how yeah. much that, you know, better, that sperm yeah. circle gets really tight. So that was the one really kind of drastic miss hit that you had noted. Um, and then if I were to look at the numbers here, um, launch angle is pretty similar because, you know, similar loft. Um, also dynamic loft is within a half a degree. Um, height actually was more similar than I thought. I thought it seemed like T300 was going much higher. Um, only three feet higher on average. And then... I think, yeah, I think looking, if you, you flattened out the T300, you'd probably see that height go up even yeah. more. Because I, I think my tendency to pull is obviously going to have a little bit lower ball flight then. Yeah, sure. Because mm -hmm. that one that I hit straighter definitely was higher in feet. Yeah. Like, and so. then the other thing too, spin. So, and again, that is also correlated with kind of that miss to the left. Yeah. That generally with a closed face will decrease spin. But that's still, I feel like, a, a pretty big difference in spin. So now we do have four more shots to hit with the hot metal here. Let's see those and then we'll get a final look at the numbers. That, di that sound is like night and day different. So we've got, um, I'm going to also, in fairness, do the same thing to, for this one, take out one kind of outlier maybe or miss hit. Yeah. Might, maybe it's this one. Or to be this one, one of the, oh, let's go with this one. We'll go with this one. So um, take that out. That way there's seven up there now with each club and or the best seven shots. Uh, T300 kind of wins the dispersion contest in terms of just size. Yeah. Um, when you, I, I wanted to get your thought on feel after hitting eight with both. I know I, I, there's a very big difference in sound. Does that translate to the feel? Um, I would say that, like, so the Mizuno Hot Metal definitely is, I can feel the miss hits more. Okay. Right? Like, Interesting. So, I think it really feels a lot like my T200s okay. in terms of like being able to yeah. feel the miss hit. So you still get enough feedback that you're yeah. looking for. Uh, the T300s, I mean, they feel, I think they feel great. Yeah. But also like, you know, I'm really familiar with the weight and the shaft. So some of that could be okay. just familiarity just, yeah. too with it. And so I'm Understandable. I mean, when I felt like I, when I was hitting the T300, I was just ripping them and like I knew like generally where they yeah. were going to go. So I think that's also part of it, but I, they're really similar in how they feel like yeah. weight wise. And like, just like when you hit the center of the face, like have a really similar feel to them. Okay. It's uh, interesting you say that. Cause I mean, I know one of the things that Thomas will say is, you know, sound is feel, feel is sound. Uh, sound is very, very different between the two. See, I, I'm a very, like, I am 100% a feel player in yeah. every aspect. Like, if I'm trying to work on like my angles and stuff, like it's all just me feeling that. Yeah. So like, I don't really think of sound like that doesn't. It's not something me. that registers to you. No, like okay. that's I'm not I'm feeling how it feels as it vibrates on my arm and like you know right. that part of it. So I can distinguish those mm -hmm. pretty well. And I don't really I mean sound is sound. Everything sounds different yeah. these days, especially like different manufacturers. They all sound differently. Right. I. Don't try to. So like, you personally, it's not something that no. you're factoring into like a decision no. to choose one club over the I other. Really, I personally don't yeah. care if it performs. And that's kind of how I am for the most yeah. part, unless it's just egregious, which is, yeah. I've never really come across something like that. Uh, but interesting that you say that because that's a different take than I know a lot of golfers have. But um, I did want to mention that we kind of had that difference in spin before. These last few shots with the hot metal brought down that spin average yeah. uh, to 4,700. Uh, so then the distance is actually, it's more similar. Um, and I, I think really the big difference is that that kind of pull tendency you have with the T300 ultimately had it go a little bit further because it was a, just a little bit more delofted club. Yep. But um, to we look at launch angle, you can see actually interesting that the launch angle was actually lower with the hot metal um, than, the, than the T300. 
Um, and then dynamic loft was pretty similar. Actually, T300 was higher. That's actually really interesting because you had more height out of the T300 now, despite that kind of pull tendency. Yeah. Wow. That's kind of surprising to me. So maybe it is just like a, a spin killer there, uh, the T300 compared to the, the hot metal. Because you'd think with higher, you know, launch angle, higher dynamic loft, all those things, that the spin would be higher with the T300. Well, I think, you know, when you take a look at the attack angle is probably the key point here. Yeah. You know, I was a little bit more steeper with the sure. JPX, so that's why okay. it's spinning. So I think, you know, I think that part of it uh, definitely has an impact on spin. So, you know, like I said, if I were to flatten out the T300, I think I'd probably be making even better contact, which I think is definitely going to up the spin. Sure. Uh, I'd probably be closer to that 5,000 range. So, I, I mean, to me, these are pretty... They're pretty similar overall. Yeah, they're pretty similar. Mm -hmm. I would say, I would edge the T300 though in feel. Just, I mean, okay. and I didn't expect that. I thought the JPX would probably feel Interesting. a little bit okay. better. But if you if you take away the sound, I know you know every fitter would probably say this right now is like the newer T300, T200s, they're louder than, yeah. than they have been. And I think for some people that really has a factor, yeah. you know, kind of like what you're saying with, yeah, you know, sound is feel yeah. to some people, and I totally can respect that. Uh, for me, I'm trying to just literally base it off feel, yeah. and feel-wise, yeah, T300 mm -hmm. felt better. Yeah, me. and then so. it's, I mean, it ultimately did have the smaller dispersion too. Uh, yeah. So we had, you know, I think that both clubs achieve similar things for the golfer, right? You get that stability, you get, um, you know, that extra kind of forgiveness when you do miss the center of the face. I think we saw that here especially with T300 where, you know, not all seven of those on there were perfect swings, but they're all pretty close to each other out there. So I think that's worth noting. Um, and then, you know, you get some extra distance too from someone that maybe needs that extra boost from their iron game and maybe playing an older set right now. They're going to get that from both of these sets. I think the difference has become, you know, a feel thing or a sound thing, whatever, you know, your preference might be what things you want to focus on. That's where, you know, the fitting is, is important as well. You get to test both clubs, you get to get them in your hand, mm -hmm. feel how, you know, that impact uh, kind of registers in your brain. And uh, then obviously the numbers will tell you a story about what fits your game. But Jackie, that's you know, great information on this test. Again, two really popular clubs. We're popular in 2021, will be, you know, continue to be popular here in 2022. So um, thank you for joining today and providing the information and the insight. I know golfers will enjoy it.